Hi everyone and welcome back to Dragon Eye Creations. If you're new here, my name is Laurel and I love to create. I create all kinds of things. One of those things is gnomes. And we are on our month of gnomes where I've challenged myself to see how many gnomes can I show you in one month. Today we are on gnome number 13. So I wanted to do another fall theme gnome. So for this one, I came up with this fall gnome tower and they're just so thankful so am i so i'm going to show you guys right now how you can make your own adorable little gnome tower okay we're going to just start by making three polymer clay noses so for this we're just going to make three balls and then make some little nostril holes i put a little pink mica powder right on the top just to give it a little shine and then we're going to make three sets of midi hands so for this, I just cut out a thumb and then roll it around to smooth out your edges. Add a little detail. Poke a little hole in the bottom so you can add it to your wire for your hands later. Now I'm just taking some aluminum foil and I'm just going to make like a donut kind of shape with it, making it as smooth as I can. And I have this wooden disc or wooden square I'm using as well that I got from Dollarama. This we'll be using for our base. And now I'm just taking some polymer clay again and rolling it out. We're just going to attach that to our aluminum foil donut we've made. Just by adding one strip at a time. I kind of did it in sections of four just to kind of make it even. Once you get your four on there, I just kind of filled in those gaps. Had to add some more clay, so it's a little bit of a different color, but that's okay because I'm going to be painting it afterwards. And just keep adding little snakes in between all those gaps. And then I just smoothed out the top of it, also smoothing out the sides, making sure it's all blended in. And then I just took a wooden dowel, again from Dollarama, and I'm just going to place that right in the middle of my donut. Now I'm making some green vines just out of polymer clay here again. Once we're all done, we're going to secure everything with Sculpey's Bacon Bond. Bake it at 130 degrees for 30 minutes. And then we're going to take our pool noodle, measure it out so it is the same length as our wooden dowel, and then cut out three even pieces, about even. They won't be exact because we are going to cut them at angles so they can all sit together. And then I just marked down the front so I could kind of keep track. Okay, we're just going to start on making our first gnome here. So we're just going to cover up his body. I am using a really thin material, so I'm just going to first use this white fluffy stuff just as a lining kind of thing. So we're just going to cover him all up with that, hot gluing it right on him. And then we're going to start with our fabric and I'm just going to measure out how much I need here and then just hot glue it and wrap it right around him. And just cut off your excess hot glue again right at the bottom and then just tack it down. For his arms I'm using these gardening wires from Dollarama. I'm going to cut them all about three inches long. These will be the arms for our little guys. So we're just going to measure out our fabric now to roll up his arms in. Again, I'm only using two layers because the one is so thin. So for this, I am just going to roll up a few rolls because we want him to be a little bit thicker just because they are so thin. And once you get it a thickness you want, just trim off your excess again. Making sure your wires are exposed at both ends. And then we're going to wrap the other fabric right around that. And cut off the excess again. To attach them, I just made some holes with this wooden dowel or wooden skewer, sorry, and I just use some hot glue around the edges and just poke that right in. Same thing on the other arm. Make a hole and poke them in there with some hot glue. And now I'm just going to start on his pants. 
So for the bottom part of him, I'm just adding this brown material. We don't need to worry about the edges because we're going to cover it up with some trim anyway. And for the bottom, we're just going to fold it and tack it all in right into the hole there. Don't cover up that hole too much though because that's where our dowel is going to go through later. So now I'm just making some trim. For that, I just cut out a strip of minky material, hot glued down the one side and folded it in, hot glued the other side and folded it in so they meet in the middle. And now I'm just taking it and wrapping it around my sleeve here. I also wrapped it around the bottom of his coat. Again, hot gluing around his sleeve, making sure to cut off the excess. For his hat, I just measured out how much I need to go around his head and how tall I wanted it to be. And then I just folded it in half, cut a triangle, and then I took some minky material. This I'll be using for the trim part on the bottom of his hat. And I just glued that good side to good side, then folded it down, flip it over, and tack it down to the back of the hat. So now you've got this nice trim. Just trim it off so it matches up with your triangle. And then I just glued the one side of my hat, folded it over again, and glued it together. All the way down to the tip. And then turn it right side out. I added a little polyfill in it just at the base of it. And then I add a little bit of that same trim right to the top of his hat. Okay, so we're just going to make a hole for the dowel to go through when we slide him on there now. So I'm just kind of measuring up where that will be. And now for his beard, I just cut a piece of faux fur about three inches wide. Trimmed off a little at the top, so it's about two inches long. And then I just cut off the bottom two corners. We're going to hot glue that right onto him now. And then for his booties, I'm using these party favors and we are going to cut them sort of, they're about one and a half inches long. And then I took some craft foam sheets here. And I'm going to glue those along with a little wooden bead right in front of them. These are just little booties we're making today. Glue that right to your foam sheet, and then once it's cooled, we're going to trim all around that. And then we're going to take some fabric, and we're just going to measure how long we need it to be. Cut a strip, put a little glue at the bottom, and just roll it up. We're going to put some glue all around our booty as well. And then just press that down all the way around your booty, gluing a strip at the back. Cut off your extra little glue on the inside, tack it all down. This is all the same way we do our big booties, just in tiny. Tuck that in there with whatever you can. <laughs> so for his legs, I'm using these wooden skewers. I'm cutting them about two inches long. And then we're going to wrap it, wrap it in the same fabric we have on our pants there. Leaving the skewer, uh, the pointy end there exposed. And then we're going to attach them to our booties the flat end down. We'll just make the other one now. Just glue it all down and pinch your edges together in the front. Wrap up your leg. Add a little hot glue and trim it. Attach them to your booty. And then we're just going to make a hole and attach those skewers right into our leg there little hot glue right on the top of the skewer and push it in. For our noses, we're going to add some E6000 to the back and some hot glue around the edge. E6000 just helps stick the polymer clay, but hot glue will help it hold a little quicker. And now we're going to add his hat, just hot gluing all the way around the top. We're going to add his hands now, so we're going to expose that wire that we have in there. Add a little E6000, some hot glue around the edge of his hand, and just push them right into that wire, right where we made his hole in the polymer clay hand. 
and then just slide them right onto our dowel. And now we're going to figure out our other guy. I am just going to cut it at a bit of an angle so he sits at an angle on there. Just going to wrap up his body in some fabric. This is for his top half. For his bottom half, we're going to add some more fabric, making sure we're following that same angle that we cut the noodle itself at. And then we're going to wrap up his legs, measure out his hat. I'm just going to go through this fairly quick because you guys have already seen me do it. <laughs> Again, some trim at the bottom of his hat. Tack it to the back. Glue strip all down the one side, making his hat. And then we're going to add some trim all around him. We made this trim the same way we did our first guy. Cutting out our arms. We're just going to hot glue and roll those right up in there. Making a hole now for his arms. I did use a little E6000 to help attach them. With our hot glue, of course, just press it in there. For this guy's beard, I made a quite a pointy triangle shape instead just to give him a little something different hot glue that right to the front of him made space for a nose again and we're going to attach our nose with some e6000 and hot glue push it right on there firmly and attach his hat make him some booties Just tuck it all in. And then we're going to attach his legs again. Some hands. And then we attached him to the dowel as well. Or put him on there. He's not attached yet. Okay, we're just going to start on our third guy here. And we're going to add his booties as well. And his beard. His nose. I put a bunch of polyfill in his hat because I want it to stick up straight. For the base, I did take it and just painted it brown. Painted our pumpkin orange. I didn't spend too much time on it because unfortunately you can't see it too much. I should have made it a little bigger. A little orange on the base as well. I took this wooden word that says thankful and I painted it orange too. I just got this from Walmart. And now I'm just taking some leaves that I got from Dollarama and I'm just going to start hot gluing those randomly all around the back of their arms and such. You can see I also attach this burlap in between them. I don't like it though so I'm not going to show you that because I end up removing it. Now I'm just adding some leaves to the base as well all the way around. You can see where I cut that burlap off. So now I'm just going to reattach everybody and attach them with some hot glue and there's some E6000 in between them as well. So once we get all that hot glue on there, the last guy here, I'm just going to push him right down and make sure everybody is firmly attached. And now I'm just going to attach our thankful word. I added some little pine cones and some little yellow flowers to our word. Well, there they are. They're all done. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. I would have done the pumpkin a little bigger just so you could see it a little more. But other than that, they are pretty sweet. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And I just can't say it enough how thankful I am to you guys all for coming back and watching me all the time. I appreciate it so much. And we will try to squeeze in one more gnome this month. We're almost at the end, but I think we can get in one more. <laughs> so until then, love to all.